everybody, how are you? Good evening and welcome to this, the presentation of this year's Breakthrough Prize. I'm your host, James Corden, otherwise known as the third Winklevoss twin. That's, you knew that. We're here at the NASA Ames Research Center. Behind me here, this is one of the largest freestanding structures in the world. Now, regular attendees of the Breakthrough Prize will know this event actually used to be held inside that structure. But here's the thing, since it was built in the 1930s, it turns out that structure contains lead and other very toxic materials. So they've done the sensible thing and they've moved it to a tent eight inches away <laughs> from that structure. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> I'm sure we're fine. We're fine, right? It'll be fine. Now, this show isn't only live happening here in this room. It is also being broadcast live on YouTube and we are on National Geographic right now, all of you, which makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> National Geographic, it makes sense. Nothing is more rugged than a group of scientists getting together to give each other silver trophies. <laughs> Tonight is about science, it's about brilliant minds, blazing trails in physics, biology, and math. So when you needed a master of ceremonies, naturally you turned to me, a late night talk show host with no formal college education. <laughs> but tonight is not about me, it's about, it's about so many incredible people being honored here tonight in this room. People like Dr. Jeffrey Friedman. Where's Jeffrey? Where's Jeffrey? There he is, an amazing man, an incredible man. Jeffrey discovered a new endocrine system that regulates food intake, which is great news for everyone who went particularly hard on their kids' Halloween candy this week. Thank you, Jeffrey. One of tonight's winners is the Event Horizon Telescope team who took the first ever photograph of a black hole. There it is just there. Look at that. There it is. <laughs> Who would have guessed it would be black and sort of hole-shaped? <laughs> Three years that took. That photograph of the black hole actually helped inspire tonight's theme, which is seeing the invisible, the idea of illuminating hidden worlds, things we know are there, but nobody sees them, like a talk show that's on at 12.37 a.m. on CBS. <laughs> Technically, this room is the biggest audience I've ever played to. The Breakthrough Prize is called, as you will have heard many times tonight, the Oscars of Science. And I, I must say, I thought the campaigning for awards during this breakthrough season was shameless. I mean, <laughs> Peter Van Nieuwenhuizen, where's Peter? Where are you, Peter? Yes, listen, Peter, here's the thing. Yes, your use of quantum variables in the description of the geometry of space-time was impressive, but a full-page ad in Variety, really? <laughs> Come on. Let's keep it clean, guys. But it's exciting to be here. The biggest names in tech and science are here tonight. Or to put it in a way that the people watching on YouTube might understand, if Tony Stark were a real person, he'd be in this room tonight. But look around, look around this room. In here, we have some of the smartest minds and the worst haircuts in the history of humanity. Mark Zuckerberg is here tonight, along with Sergey Brin and Anne Wojcicki. Uh, Elon Musk said he would have loved to have made it, but the traffic on the Hyperloop is terrible tonight. <laughs> but really, here's the, tonight is all about you. The inventors, the scientists, the researchers, the pioneers who make our lives better. Tonight, you are the cool ones. Lenny Kravitz is sat there, yet you are the rock stars, okay? You rock. Whether those rocks be native elements, oxides, sulfates, carbonates, it doesn't matter. It's all about you. This is your night to shine. This is the night 
to show those obnoxious high school bullies that everyone secretly hated who really wins in the end. Think about it. Tonight, you get to be the obnoxious bullies that everyone secretly hates. This is your night, people. Go crazy. Go crazy, which in Silicon Valley means putting a little extra butter in your bulletproof coffee. Break out that fancy fleece jacket. Take an extra micro dose of whatever Joe Rogan gave you at Burning Man, okay? <laughs> now, I was thinking about tonight, and it's a special night full of special people, and I thought, well, how do we really kick this off in the best way? And uh, if it's all right with you, I thought maybe, 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 we could start with a song. Because this is an incredible night, in an incredible room, that let's be honest, is very convenient for the airport. As award shows go, it's gotta be the most convenient for an airport, doesn't it? Now here's the thing that not many people will know, tonight, Tonight, the winners of the Breakthrough Prize will be awarded $3 million each. $3 million. There's so much you can do with $3 million. It's incredible. It's, it's like you won the lottery. if you meticulously dedicated your entire life to scratching off a lottery ticket. <laughs> so if it's okay with you, this is a song about the breakthrough. The qualities it takes to win a breakthrough are qualities that few of us possess. Genius, passion, luck, persistence, and a bunch of lab assistants, just as smart as you and making even less. The progress that you make, you only make through years of setback, sacrifice, and self-reliance. But the good news is tonight, you'll find out you've done all right. In fact, you've done three million dollars worth of science. You have spent eight years identifying leptin That's the hormone, that's the reason I am so thin You have burnished your credentials on a billion differentials And got heat when you researched capsaicin You have analyzed the shape of proteins kept in You have captured supermassive black hole giants From TDP 43 to supergravity You've all learned three million smackaroos of science. Tonight we're saying thanks. We're saying welcome to the ranks of the Pythagoras's Priestley's Pastures, Pauling's Paulus, Poncarian plants. Tonight the effect of our applause is one of which your work's the cause. Assurers, Boyles, Bournes, Bradfords, Columns, Curries, Keplers, Kershaws, Hooks, or Hubbles, Lords. Yes, tonight you will skate through a frictionless state, feeling cooler than Bose Einstein condensate. And when the new day dawns, you'll be free to attack it with three million photons in your quantum packet. True scientists don't do it for the glory they do it so that knowledge can advance and in their quest for understanding they're exact and self-demanding they need discipline desire and mostly grants well you true heroes of the laboratory tonight your world and tech form an alliance 
Has your life so far been frugal? Well, say hello to Google. Been working nearly gratis. Hey, Facebook, change their status. Say thanks to the valley, cause you're leaving with a tally of three million dollars worth of pure heart. Show here 